Hi guys, it's me Spastic and this is part 7 of how to make your own Discord bot using Python. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to send emojis and how to add reactions. So let's see how Discord renders these emojis. Now, there are three types of emojis. The first one is a Unicode emoji and these emojis are universal and can be used everywhere. What I mean by that is, let's say I go back to Emojipedia and these emojis, anywhere, any emoji that you find here is universal. So I can just copy one of these, so I'm going to copy the fire emoji, control C, and if I paste it here, as you can see, I can, uh, the Discord renders it like that, and I can also paste it in Sublime Text, and it'll work. Not in Sublime Text, but you can use it in any place as well, because it's Unicode, okay? And with this, let's see how the second type and third type work. Uh, if I go back to bot testing, right? And... Um, I already did some stuff so uh, it's run so what I mean by run is in my server I can run some Python scripts directly so let's send an emoji await ctx dot send let's send one of these custom emojis that we have the noise emoji okay um, let's send that and see how discord actually renders it so this is how discord renders emojis custom emojis that, that is so the way to do it is an angular bracket a semicolon emoji name then uh, the ID uh, whatever the ID is so emoji ID and then close the angular bracket so this is how you'll uh, do that you'll ha this is how you'll send the emoji as a string if it's a custom emoji so and if you just write noise nothing will happen okay if we can do this but bots can't do that so just to show this to you I'm gonna go back and also write it here so I'm simply gonna write noise and one thing you may be wondering how do I get this ID just to do that just control uh, right click on the emoji copy image location paste that delete everything before the numbers and after the numbers so this is the ID copy that and you can paste it here so paste that here I'm just gonna copy this as well which is the name and close the brackets so let's save this and see what happens and actually see if it, uh, if it works so the ball is ready right now and let's see if that worked so emoji and if I can spell it correctly emo it should be emoji not the as you can see uh, we got the fire emoji this didn't work and this worked so yeah don't just simply write this make sure you do this okay um, now let's see animated emojis as our type 3 so let's see how these emojis are rendered the animated ones now it's simply the angular bracket and a is added in front of an emoji name then the colon the emoji name uh, and then another colon and then the ID and then you close that and this is how you'll render it now I'm um, in my code I just have one of these emojis and it's the same way of getting the ID just right click copy link URL and then just extract this number let's save this bot let's save the file and run the bot and I'll show this to you as well the bot is ready now and let's see the command so emoji as you can see we get the animated emoji as well now what I do in my server is when I when users don't have nitro and they type this I make coding bot make a webhook and send the emoji so I'm gonna be showing this to you as well so let's go back to the code and re let's make the let's make this work okay so um, let's actually since this is not a command it's in on message so let's go back here now let's see this okay so what we want to check for is if if the message if um, there is so the way I do it is the way I do this is checking for the first and the last letter in the message dot content so what I do is if a colon is this first one so if colon equal equal to message dot content the first one it's simply zero and uh, the colon is also message dot content the last one which is minus one so what with what this does is it checks for 
if the emoji is like this right if it starts with this and also ends with this then what I'll do is get the name of the emoji so the emoji name is um, everything in the middle everything in between these colons so it's message dot content from the first one till the last one so this should give us everything in between um, from from this colon till this colon so if you don't know string slicing um, you should probably research it so it's simply starting from this part starting from this index in the string till this index just before this index so it will be from 1 to minus 2 so once we have the emoji name uh, we can loop through every emoji so for emoji in the guild emojis so message since it's message dot guild dot emojis so for emoji in message dot guild emojis we're gonna check if the name of the emoji emoji underscore name is equal equal to the emoji that this variable this variable's name so emoji dot name this time so these to be not confused um, it's emoji dot name and this is emoji underscore name okay so if they're equal that means if the user sent this emoji and it's found in this guild let's just send that emoji so await um, it's message dot channel dot send we'll send um, that emoji right so emoji now you can now since discord renders it like this you can do string you make this emoji into a string and this is how our discord will send that and let's just also delete the message so I'm just gonna copy that and that's it save that you can also break out of the loop because you don't need to check anything else break and yeah this is it let's see if it works so the bot is ready right now and let's type uh, let's type an emoji so let's see if it works as you can see uh, tutorial bot sends that emoji as well the only difference is that co coding bot used to send used to create a webhook right um, I'm gonna make a separate video for webhooks let's also test another emoji good night emoji I have this one and as you can see this also works now let's see how to add reaction so to add reactions it's simply I'm just gonna make a thing in in my on a uh, message one I'm just gonna say if a uh, noise is in the message content right in the message dot content I'm gonna to do, uh, the way of adding these uh, emojis is await ctx and there's no CTX sorry the message object message dot add underscore reaction now and in the parentheses the the emoji so if it's the unicode one you can just paste that like we already discussed the way I'll do it is with this one so save that and also you can do this in a command as well so you can do ctx dot message dot add reaction so we'll also make a poll command I'm just gonna copy some code from my coding bot and I'm just gonna show that to you so let's just save this first and let's see if this works so the bot is ready now and let's simply say something like noise and as you can see the bot reacted and it works so yeah that's it for today guys oh sorry I forgot about the poll so the poll command will be on the screen right now and this is how you'll do it and it's simply just sending an embed and just adding two reactions to it and yeah that's it I hope you enjoyed if you did hit the like button and subscribe and when I hit 20 likes I'll make the new video so yeah do it and I'll meet you in the next one goodbye